Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I received this email message. I'd like to read it to you. Topic of today's video. It says, Hello. I wanted to share a tip that I recently learned. The Open Comb Mercur Razorhead 15C and 25C can actually be used as adjustable razors. Unlike the flat bar Mercur razor head, where the blade becomes loose if you unscrew the head, the open comb head will adjust the angle of the blade if you slightly unscrew it, making it more aggressive. I bought the open comb razor a while back and was disappointed it was so mild, but now that I adjust the aggressiveness by unscrewing the head, it cuts through the beard without a problem and gives me a smooth shave with just one pass. I'd be really happy if you made a video and tried this trick yourself. Best regards from Sweden, Ludwig Lind. Well, Ludwig, thank you for sending this. Uh, I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to try it and we'll see if it works or we call BS on this one. So here we go. This is the Mercure 15C lightweight razor. Here is the 25C. Here they are right next to each other. 25C, 15C. Basically the same razor except for the handle on this 25C is about three quarters of an inch longer. Here's what the heads look like. They are pretty much exactly the same. I have a blade in this one right now because I was playing around with it trying to see if this would work or not. And the difference is so minuscule that I don't know if it will work because when you tighten this down all the way, it's cranked down, blade is tight. You can only loosen it like an eighth of a turn or a sixth of a turn before it starts spinning around and you don't want the head spinning while you're trying to shave. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to lather up my face and then I'm going to, it's tight right now, I'm just going to loosen it to the point where it becomes snug right there and then you could still twist it another like sixth of a turn but that's it. I'll see if it makes a difference. Here we go. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right, my face is good and warm. I've got this Shave Nation zebra brush, badger brush. I'm gonna soak it under the hot water, saturate the tips. Go right in here and just mix up a quick lather. Colonel Cox shaving soap that's already in my bowl, my Shave Nation bowl right here. Just gonna wet the tips like that and right to the face, lather up. See how the shaving cream doesn't fly all over the place with the badger brush? Sometimes it does with that synthetic brush. With most any synthetic brush, they just don't hold on to the moisture like the badgers do. Figure eight, smooth everything out, set the brush down. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Let's clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. Just like we do in every shave. Just about every shave. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if this works or we call BS on Ludwig. Okay, it's tight, all the way tight. I'm going to loosen it just to where it snugs, right there. Again, I don't want it spinning around like that, you know, when I'm shaving, so. I'm going to tighten it just to the point where it snugs down, just like that. And soak it under the, let's go, let's go warm water today. Mix it up a little bit and see how this feels. So the first pass is going to be with it loosened a little bit. Now let me just see. Tighten the other side, tighten it all the way, go to the other side. Uh, I'm not sensing a huge difference. But we'll carry on with the shave anyway. Okay, let's rinse. Both sides are filled. Let's try it again on the left side. Here I'll start with it cranked down tight. 
and now I'm going to loosen it just to see if I can feel the difference. Okay, I do feel the difference on that one. Slightly more aggressive with it loosened up like that. See, it spun a little bit, so you got to be careful. Can't loosen it too much. Alright, let's rinse that. Both sides are filled. I'll carry on with it, just not fully tight, just till it snugs down the neckline. Sit the mustache. It does seem slightly more aggressive with it loosened like that. I can still tighten it down the sixth of a turn. Well, let's rinse. Grab our brush and bowl and just relather for the second pass. Okay, great. And on the second pass, I really don't care. I'm tightening it down all the way. As snug as I can get it. Again, if you feel like you might slip and twist, you want to use a towel to make your adjustments. That way you don't slice your fingers the safer way. You can place it in the palm like that and do it. Or you can grip it from the sides. Either way. So second pass, I want it to be tight anyway. Because if the first pass is more aggressive, I want the second to be a bit less aggressive. So it's tightened down all the way. Just take your time. Open comb razor. It's a little bit more aggressive than a, than a flat bar, usually. And I like how you can see the shaving cream, how it slides through the grooves. Cleft. Rinse off. Against the grain on the neck. Good. Cross the mustache. I like the head on this for going under the nose. It's curved and compact. Easy to get under. Alright, very nice. Let's rinse it. Quick face rinse. Let's lather the cheeks just for a final glazing pass or skim coat, skim pass. Don't scrape like this, but very slightly until it catches right here. Work your way up. This gets your baby smooth right here. Other side. All right, very nice. Rinse the razor. Rinse the face with cold water. Finish up with your Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block. Just glide that all around the damp face, the wet face. Seal off any small nicks or weepers if you got any, but we did not. We got a nice, clean, close shave from the 25C. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds. Rinse it off. 
apply your favorite aftershave. Or any aftershave for that matter. <laughs> it doesn't have to be your favorite, it just could be, it could be any old aftershave. This is Parasso Sandalwood Balm, by the way. Beautiful scent. Nice protection throughout the day. Good stuff. Honestly, I did notice a slight difference when I loosened it, but I really don't know if it's worth it to do that. You run the risk of loosening it too much and then the head spinning around when you're shaving. You definitely don't want that to happen. So, you know, I don't know Ludwig. I think maybe it works for you somehow, but I'm not sure about everybody else. Tell you what, everybody else give it a try with your 15C or your 25C and see what you think. And I'll post a couple videos, just separate reviews on the 15C up above, 25C up above if you want to check that out, and some other interesting videos along the way. I'm not calling BS, it did work. Uh, not a massive difference to me. It's just a matter of, you know, if it was tightened all the way down and you applied a little bit more pressure, you could probably achieve, achieve the same thing. So I'm not going to bust on Ludwig today. I, th I think that, uh, you know, it probably is legit. If you're really careful, loosen it slightly, and you can only loosen it like a sixth of a turn, like I said, not too much, otherwise it starts spinning around. So you may want to try it, you may not. If you do try it, I'm not responsible. <laughs> Leave a message down below if you do try it, and it, let me know if it works for you. I'm sure Ludwig would like to hear about it too. So if you want to pick up any of these items, 15C, 25C, any of these razors, just click down below the video where it says show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box and it'll pop right up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, shaving and more. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.